Hey dear, welcome to the Proud Animator YouTube channel. So, in this lesson, we are going to illustrate a boxer in flat style design. And later on, we are going to publish a tutorial on how to animate this character. So, definitely stay tuned for that. Alright, so let's start our illustration. Okay, so we are going to start our illustration with the face of the character. For that, I'm going to take a rounded rectangle. So, for that, come over here and press and hold a panel will pop up and I'm going to take the rectangle tool and create a rectangle over here and make it rounded. Let's elongate it a bit and just pick a color for the skin. Perfect. And I'm going to create another re rounded rectangle over here and this one is for the hair band. I'm going to pick a color for this one. Let's give it something near to a red color. Perfect. And uh, let's align it. And I'm going to slightly make the corners rounded. Alright. And let's bring it down a bit. And I'm going to press and hold the Alt key. And click and drag upwards to duplicate it. And I'm going to use the shape builder tool. The shortcut key is Shift plus M. And I'm going to cancel out this extra shape. So for that press Alt and just click on it. The extra shape will be deleted. And I'm going to select this shape layer and just give it slightly darker shade. Perfect. Now it's time for the hair of the character. So for that again I'm going to use a rounded rectangle and create a rounded rectangle like this. And let's pick a color for this one. Something near to black as it's the hair of the character. Yeah this one is looking cool. So we are going to go with this one. And I'm going to make only two corners rounded as you can see. And I'm going to copy it and slightly scale it down. And again I'm going to give it a darker shade. And again I'm going to copy it and scale it down a bit. And give it a darker shade. Perfect. Now I'm going to select everything and just just keep it below this particular band layers okay now the basic structure of the head is done now let's create the ears first of all so for that i'm going to use the ellipse tool and i'm going to press shift and drag to create a proper circle so i'm going to duplicate this circle layer and then again i'm going to uh, just give a darker shade for this color this is the inner part of the ear so let's give something very dark and uh, keep the contrast a bit higher and i'm going to group it up and put it over here all right and after that i'm going to again select a rounded rectangle and create a here or the some parts of the hair over the ears and I'm going to dog and duplicate it and rotate it 90 degrees and just put it over here. I'm going to select both the shape and just merge it. You can use Pathfinder tool or even you can use Shape Builder tool. The shortcut is Shift plus M. And for merging the shapes, you don't have to do press any key. Just click and drag on the shapes. Perfect. Now I have just rounded up the corners. Now I'm going to just duplicate the shape again and select both the shapes and just delete the extra shape and I'm going to give it some darker shade over here. Perfect. And same for the ears. Let's add some detailing over here as well. I'm going to, I'm just pressing Alt key and duplicating the shape by just clicking and dragging. Okay. So here I'm going to put a dark shade, something like this and and I'm going to put a ear ring over here. So for that, I'm going to select an ellipse tool. So here again, I'm going to use a darker shade and I'm going to use a rounded rectangle for the ear ring. And let's select a color for this. Perfect. Now let's add a reflection on the ear ring with a rounded rectangle. I'm going to select white color and go to this transparency tab and i'm going to select overlay and just give it an opacity of 50 percent and let's add another shape over here for the back side of the hairs 
right now we are going to just uh, select uh, create the eyes of this character perfect and now it's time for the nose of this character so for that i'm going to again select a rounded rectangle and pick this color and give it a darker shade okay right now i am going to add some detailing over here again i'm just duplicating the shape and giving a giving slight darker shade to the downward portion so perfect and again i'm going to duplicate this shape and press i for the for picking the color so after that i'm going to just add some anchor points over here and again i'm going to go to the isolation mode and delete the extra vertices perfect and i'm going to simply increase the stroke layer the stroke width okay now after that we are going to create a beard for this character all right now let's create the mouth for that i'm again using a rounded rectangle and again i'm just selecting this particular skin color and again copying and pasting this by ctrl c and ctrl shift v to paste it in the same place and again i'm going to just select a color for the lip Perfect. And right now, just click on this draw inside or the shortcut key Shift plus D to switch to this mode. perfect okay now we can focus on the rest of the parts of the body so let's proceed with the illustration of the body now let's create the body of the character so first of all i'm going to select all the ships and group it let's scale it down a bit and put it over here okay i'm going to just make a rounded rectangle again over here and i'm going to pick this color so this is the neck of this character and i'm going to arrange it send it back perfect and i'm going to select ellipse tool for the shoulders or the delve muscles now i'm going to add again another rounded rectangle over here for the chest of this character let's scale it down a bit and yeah it's looking perfect and now let's create six pack abs over here with the help of the rounded rectangle again So for the lower portion I am going to use again another rounded rectangle. Now 
let's make the corners rounded a bit okay so now let's start with the illustration of one arm and later on we are going to reflect it for the other side so let's illustrate the arm and our job will be done over here okay so right now let's create the arms first so for that i'm going to take a rounded rectangle Now this time we are going to just use a transform tool so the shortcut key is press E and I'm going to use the second one the perspective distort so I'm going to select this particular corner and just make it wider like this click and click and drag you can just it will happen like this okay and then make the corners rounded and I'm going to pick a lighter shade of this color slightly lighter perfect. yeah it's looking pretty cool so we are going to select this tricep bicep and whole arm and shoulder layers and i'm going to just copy it for the other side and reflect it all right so with this our boxer is done right now you can even add some background audience and a ring and uh, the boxer will be ready to fight so try it on your own and definitely uh, if you want then you can just customize a bit and create your own character and put it on your portfolio so just do it and just let me know how it turned out so that is it for this lesson hope you liked the video if you liked it then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the lesson make sure to comment down below i will be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates until then goodbye